So we arrived last night in from Durango from doing the Chicago Basin. Now we're headed up Snuffles. Not the best weather today. We're just gonna play by here and see how things go. Got over here to Snuffles this morning. And light rain this morning. Hiking up the Jeep trail from the split. Do just a standard route this morning. Because the way the weather is. Kind of see over there, Southwest, Southwest Ridge, which we considered, but just in fact, it keeps raining on and off. Sniffles in the background. And a reminder not to pick any flowers on the way. About a thousand feet so far up the trail to this point. About 13,000. Where this holding off? A little bit wet. It's been off and on rain. Still have not committed yet to a drought. And we'll see what happens up here. Let's get a little closer. All right, you can see it's pretty, pretty steep here. This last portion going up. We're about a little bit 13 here. down in order to crawl over the trees. Got to the V notch. Not much of a view today. All right, Tom, how's the week? So this is a uh, peak number five we attempted this week. Coming off the basin yesterday, we're taking a little break here on the way down from the summit. Pretty successful. Pretty successful. Sitting here, uh, face of Mount Sneffels, coming down. It was not a great weather day. Started out rainy, super windy. Summit conditions were not ideal. Now that we're coming down, of course, the sun's coming out. Yeah, Hopefully we didn't nice spend much on top because of uh, the cloud cover is just, it was just fully cloudy. So I really couldn't see much up there. It was pretty windy. We had hail coming up and uh, the rain we had this morning when I first got up, I really didn't think we we're gonna be able to summit. So just really pleased we were able to summit. When you're only up here for a few days, you just don't know how much you'll be able to accomplish. Very different hike of Snuffles. The Jeep trail's not that fun. I come, 
but the um, sitting after that's pretty fun. Finally getting down all that loose rock, which definitely need hiking poles for. And we came across this purple rock, which must be the UFO that the reviewer on All Trails talked about when he saw a UFO camping out over here overnight. The marmot. Well, we've already climbed Snuffles, but Tom, being the mathematical genius, thought that we needed more elevation. So we climbed back up to uh, Blue Lakes Pass. Get a glimpse of the Blue Lakes down here, which is very pretty. Actually, is clearing up, unfortunately for us, because we just had clouds and wind. Last time we were in Ure and, and uh, we climbed up Kukumagre in 1999 over a week long backpacking trip with our other friend who joined us for Quadri and Grace and Tories, but this one's to him back in the same area in the Uncabagre wilderness, finally getting back out here to do Sneffels. That's the marmot that probably ate my poles. <laughs> Not scared of us. Gave my poles back in the base, I believe. Is it right lake? The trail's much nicer. Really may well consider this one on the way in instead of the Jeep trail. Finally, our Uber arrived to take us down to our car. So we just completed Snaffles, which was a great hike. Great to be back in Uncompagre Wilderness. Last time we were here, Tom and I, it was 1999 when we summited Uncompagre with our friend Eric. So. This one goes to Eric. Hey, Eric. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. Thanks, and see you at the trailhead.